Hydronephrosis means water in the kidney. The term is not entirely correct as the extra water is in the ureter, the tube coming out of the kidney rather than in the kidney itself. The tube is dilated. It's quite common, usually discovered before birth on routine and in little scans or scans done of the urine infection. There are three main causes for hydronephrosis. Firstly, it can suggest a slowly developing blockage and obstruction. Secondly, it can point to backflow of urine, fecal reflux. Thirdly, and most commonly, the dilatation will either stay the same or reduce as the child grows. Scans will be repeated over time to find out. PUJ obstruction occurs when there's a narrowing which gradually backs up urine over weeks and months. That kidney is more prone to urine infections. If the pressure gets too severe, that kidney may lose function and an operation will be required. Reflux in the kidney can happen when the ureter and the valve of the bladder is not made properly, allowing urine to flow back up. The tube becomes dilated. Reflux makes urine infections more common. In the majority of cases, children will grow out of their reflux as they get older. The most likely outcome though is for no or little change to the dilated tube. There's no blockage and no reflux. Over time, as a child grows up, they often grow into the dilatation and it can look more and more normal on scan. This has been a brief outline of hydronephrosis. The majority of children will not need surgery but do need some monitoring. There are more aspects to this topic, so please do ask your healthcare team.